Welcome in everybody. In this lesson, I'm going to be discussing how to use loops in Zoho to Luge. Okay. If you're not familiar with what a loop is, it's a way to iterate or go through every single item in a list. Okay. To do that, we need to first create a list. Then we need to start adding some items to our list. Okay. Let's just um, add some items. Okay. As first, second, and third. And then my list, I'll add all my items, okay? And then let's just print out our list so we can see exactly what's going on. Okay, so one way to go through every item in your list is with a for each loop, okay? So you start by saying for each, and then you create a variable that's going to represent each item in your list, okay? So I'm going to say item, but you could say record, you could say whatever variable you'd like to use. You could say banana. <laughs> okay, but I'm just going to stick with item. And then you say for each item in, in your list. Okay, so for each item or record in your list, perform this um, statement. Okay, so we have first, second, and third. You can add conditions in your loop. So let's say if item equals second, then we're going to uh, only then we're going to info wahoo. OK, let's get a little bit more practical with this. <clears throat> let's say you have a list of employees. So say first employee is a, and these are going to be maps, second employee, and third employee, okay? Let's add some information to each, to each of those employees. So we'll say um, work, and then we will say, um, or let's, let's do their name. So let's do Rico Suave. And then let's put a statement here to see. Um, this is going to be a list of employees that missed work and reasons why. So let's say missed work. And then we have sick. And let's do the same thing with second employee. And we'll just do Rico Suave's mom. And we will do missed work, jury duty, okay. And then let's do our last employee. That's Rico Suave's dad. And third employee dot put missed work, skipped, okay. Didn't even send it an excuse why, okay? So now let's say we want to iterate through each of these, each of these, let's first remove all those, okay? And then let's add each of those employees to our list. And then I'm just gonna copy this. Go three times, right? Oof. There we go. And then let's copy second employee, third employee. Okay, that looks good. So for each, let's change this to employee in my my list. And then let's say we want to we want to call out those that have only skipped, right? If you're sick, if you have jury duty, those could be excusable. But let's say if employee. Okay, and then if you remember from the maps tutorial, to get keys from the employee, you do the dot get. Then you will do the name of the key. So we're going to say missed work is equal to skipped. We're going to call out this employee. Okay, and we're just going to say this employee did us dirty, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and then we're going to print out that employee's name. So again, we're gonna do that employee 
dot get name. Okay, so let's see what we're expecting here. So we're going to loop through Rico Suave, Rico Suave's mom, and Rico Suave's dad. See who missed, who skipped work. Okay, so we know that's going to be Rico Suave's dad. And if they did, then we're going to print this employee did us dirty. And we're going to say, so what we're expecting is this employee did us dirty, Rico Suave's dad. Let's do this to make it look a little bit nicer, okay? Let's go ahead and save that. This employee did us dirty, Rico Suave's dad. Okay, so we're calling out an employee in a list of maps. That's how you could use a for each. That's how you could utilize the most out of maps. And that's how this all works. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.